Hello folks, it's Jesse today, again from Digging Appalachia. And like I told a couple of you, I was going gastropod hunting today. I was hoping to find, you know, a big massive trilobite or something, but it never happened. But I did find some pretty awesome stuff. And I'm going to kind of show you what everything looks like unprepped. Some of it looks pretty good, just kind of how I get it out of the ground. Some of it needs a little more work, but this is my favorite piece of the day. Right here. And it stinks because it was broken half. The rock it was in was already split. So I didn't quite get the whole thing, but you can see, I mean, the size of that guy. Um, these are some of the ones that, you know, just kind of pop out once in a while. They'll just pop right out of a rock. Other times you have to kind of chisel them out and stuff, but a lot of times, you know, some of them have pretty good shell on them. Other ones, you know, the shell kind of chips off. Uh, yeah, a lot of stuff like this today. A uh, couple new things. I did find this. I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, just a piece of something, but a shell on one side, so I think it's just the inside of something there. Uh, um, this guy, that looks like a pretty well, good one to kind of work on for prepping and cleaning up. Same with this guy. Yeah, you can kind of see him in there. I just want to try to expose as much of them as I can. And some other of the basic stuff I find there. You know, I'll probably keep this guy in Matrix just like that. And I'll take my angle grinder. I don't have a tile saw, so I'll just cut a straight line across there. So it'll stand up. And it's going to end up being a pretty neat piece. There's some partial stuff I found today. A um, couple trilobites. I found some pieces and parts of them. You know, I didn't find any anything complete in any way. This is kind of a cool one. It has a brachiopod and a, has a trilobite there. Piece of brachiopod there. Uh, some other little pieces of stuff down towards the bottom, so that's a piece I'll clean up the edges and leave alone. Uh, some more matrix stuff. This might be one I leave in there and just cut everything else out around it, but there's some other little guy right there. So, not quite sure what I'm doing with this one yet. Yeah, I'll probably just try to save these two. Um, uh, let's see, I brought him some couple nice brachiopods, I think. <laughs> um, had a really neat one, but little guy, you can see his shell's cracked, but I'm still going to try to get him out of there. Um, what was I looking for? This piece here. This piece. I really like. Got a big guy sitting right in here. Got all kinds of little stuff going on. Nice trilobite here. Yeah, all kinds of people in here. You know, this is a real nice one to hit. Probably one of the nicer I've found as far as diversity goes. And this is definitely one I'm going to keep in a plate and clean up a little in the future. I'm almost scared to because of that trial bite in there. They're so fragile. And it's just so hard to try to keep the shell on this stuff. But there's another big something I found today. Not quite sure what it is, but there's a lot to it. And you can see it's shell going up around here shell keeps going comes all the way up under here so 
Not sure who that is, but it's got a nice, nice speckled shell in there. And this stuff's awesome, man. I haven't really seen anything quite like this coming out of Pennsylvania before, so I'm pretty excited about it. Um, uh, just a cute little shell. I like that guy. So I just picked him up. And I basically went there today and did my two buckets. You know, I usually carry a backpack with some tools and, you know, two buckets. So, uh, two buckets. It took me, uh, I was being kind of picky today, but it took me maybe an hour and a half to fill them up. Um, I think this is about all I'm really going to show you from here. Um, And we're going to move over this way and show a little bit of me just kind of cleaning them up with basic hand tools. And I think I'm going to pick a just flat nose screwdriver, a little wood carving tool, should work pretty good. And water helps a lot for this process. So. Oh, which one to pick? Oh, that one's intimidating. Had another one. I thought I grabbed. Okay, yeah, we'll work on one of these guys a little bit. And you'll see that a lot of this stuff I can basically just pick off with my fingers. Um... I'll try to find some little fracture lines like this, get it nice and wet. And start kind of going to town. I'm trying to think of which one I really want to start with here. I guess I'll start with this guy here, see what I can get out of him. But just use that little drip off the hose. I might use a little bit of a chisel here because as you can see, when I get up in there, there's a piece of shell right there I think I might try to crack and get it out of here. If I, no, I didn't even bring a hammer, but I'll take it over here, tap on a little bit, see what happens. Didn't do too much damage. <laughs> but there is some shell there. So I'm gonna try to crack a little bit more of this off. Yeah, I'll do that in a minute. Actually, I'm gonna take it here. Can't quite see what I'm going with camera here, so hopefully I'm getting some of this in the frame, but it's this easy. Get it wet. And just start chipping away at the mud. Comes off pretty pretty smooth for the most part. I still end up breaking stuff here and there. But this is all I'm doing. Try a different angle here. I might be able to get in a little closer. But this is for Treasure Hunter. I just wanted to kind of show you how easy this Blair County stuff is to clean up. I don't want to make an incredibly long and boring video here, so I'll try to cut it off. I'm already at about 10 minutes, but just keep working my way around them. Dig them out. 
just like hard mud. Got some tunes I can hear playing in the background. I kind of got that going for one of my first subscribers. So, if you're watching, if you end up watching this, give you a little shout out just for being one of the first ones to check my channel out. Uh, hopefully, hopefully pretty soon I want to get into setting up some kind of some kind of trading system to where. I can start doing some more giveaways of stuff that I find because there's so much stuff I didn't really keep and it just gets lost. I think I might have just cracked a piece of the shell there, unfortunately. I can't tell. I think I did, but all right. This is for all y'all. I hope you enjoyed it and sorry I didn't get too detailed. But I do have another video on my wife's channel of a lot of stuff cleaned up. And her channel is Karanzon333. So anyone that wants to check that out, there's a couple gastropod videos on there. It's a very eclectic channel. So um, I hope you enjoy some of her stuff too. But it's there's like Pennsylvania Gastropods Part 2 or something like that it's called with a lot of stuff cleaned up. So... Good night all. I've had a long day digging, so please subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye.